So after bird spreading its wings, we're going to do a little bit of shoulder stuff. So you will feel this in your shoulders. Um, so um, the exercise itself is for uh, spleen and stomach. Um, and well, you'll see the exercise. So we, f we finish feet together uh, from bird spreading its wings and all that business. So feet together. And what we're going to do, we're going to let the arms float up keeping the shoulders relaxed, but just let the arms come up to shoulder, shoulder height. And then what we're gonna do is turn uh, one hand out and one hand in, yeah. So, and you really wanna get a twist, yeah. So from there, I'm turning that hand all the way out. And from there, I'm turning this hand the opposite and then pushing the arms apart. So they're not behind, they're straight out, but really I wanna I want, I want feel this in, my, in all my triceps. From here, I'm going to bend my right knee. So again, just watch for a second. And when I bend that right knee, the left hip kicks out. And all I'm going to do is bring the arms back in nice and gentle, turning the hands the opposite way, pushing the arms apart and bending the left knee and kicking out the right hip. So swap in, turn in, swap in, and turning. So this exercise has got a couple of bits in it. So apart from trying to fix our bingo wings and, and it, it's kind of like um, a, a dishcloth when, you, when you're rinsing a dishcloth, trying to get that twist in the body, really stretching out the muscle, really stretching out the tendons and pushing the arms apart. There's another bit to this exercise. So I'll just take you through that. So we're feet together and we breathe in, floating up. Twist the hands out, and I'm mirror for this. So bend the right knee, and then bring the hands in, swapping over. Bend the left knee. So we do this twice on each side, and then what we're gonna do is bring the left hand over the top, right hand underneath, so nice big circles. And then when they get to the chest, we're gonna cross in the chest, so just like X. X in the chest. Keep the hands going. And then top palm turns out to the ceiling, bottom palm turns out to the floor. And we're pushing to the ceiling, pushing to the floor. Try not to get the shoulders up, so you want to push with the palms, but keep the shoulders relaxed. Push with the palms and keep the shoulders relaxed. And again, we're bending that right knee. And then all we're going to do is relax, cross at the chest again. Bend the opposite knee, turn the palm to the ceiling, palm to the floor. And again, relax. And breathe out. So let's just put those together, so with me. Uh, I'll do it on a slight angle. So from here, feet together, nice and relaxed. Breathing in, hands float up. Twist the left palm out, right palm in. Bend the right knee. Swap legs, swap arms. So twisting the different arm out, different arm in, bending the opposite knee, kicking the hip out. Swap in again, nice and gentle. Pushing the arms apart, just make sure the arms are shoulder width, uh, shoulder height. And again. And then this time, left arm coming over the top, right arm coming underneath. Crossing at the chest, swapping knees. Keep the hands going, one palm turning up to the sky, one palm pointing down to the floor. And just a little push with the palms. And then relaxing like the arms are just floating, crossing at the chest. Swapping knees, pushing to the ceiling, pushing to the floor. From a line-up position, you want this little finger pretty much to be in line with the shoulder and the bottom hand thumb uh, on the trouser seam. And you can look forward or slightly to the side. It's uh, both are okay and acceptable in this form. And then swapping over and push. Once more, swapping over and push. 
And then nothing fancy at the end, all we're doing is just letting the arm float down. And back to centre. Okay.